Hey gang, it's summertime in Sparkle Land, and I would like to share with you one of our favorite summertime activities. It is Capture the Flag, and we do an older kid version where we use foam swords, and uh, the factory over here is making foam swords as we speak. And I'll get into the rules of Capture the Flag in a moment, but uh, uh, first we're going to talk about how to make these. So the sword making is very straightforward. There's three ingredients, three materials that you need. PVC pipe, we use half inch PVC pipe. And this is pipe insulation. You can also use, uh, you'll see down there is a, uh, a pool noodle if you want a fatter sword. Uh, this is made for half inch PVC pipe. And then uh, duct tape. And you can get it in different colors these, year, the, 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 these days. So those three things are what make up all these different swords. And we make swords. Um, there's a bunch of other weapons that are being made over here. Um, this is one, this is a battle axe. All the same, the same materials went into this. Quarter staffs, axes, all manner of things. It is, it is uh, you know, eight, nine, 10, 11 and up boys and girls heaven to be able to play with those. Okay, so the basics of traditional capture the flag. Number one, you need a designated area with boundaries. Number two, you divide that designated area in half. You divide the players in half. One team on one side, the other team on this side. Each team has a flag, a flag that is known where its whereabouts are for the, for the other team. Goal is to go get that flag and bring it back to your side. Now in traditional capture the flag, once you're on the opponent's side, you are vulnerable and you can get tagged and sent back. So you've got to be strategic in how you get that flag. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we play a variation on that game. So our version of the game does not involve tagging. Our version of the game is all about using those foam swords that these guys have been making. So how it works is anywhere on the field, whether you're on their side or your side, you can engage in a melee battle back and forth. No touching the arms or hands, clearly not the neck or the head or the feet. It's just legs and torso. The foam makes it soft, but we also dial it back a little bit. And we're more interested in the actual back and forth, touche, this and that, than, uh, um, you know, we don't get hurt. So um, it's a ton of fun because there's adults playing, there's kids playing, and you never know. You think that the adults have an advantage, but they don't. These kids are actually really good with their swords. And so if you're the first one to tag your opponent on the torso or in the leg, then they have to go back to their flag. So we play all sorts of varieties on the game. We play a fugitive style game where the, where the adults are looking for the kids in the woods. We play hide the flag and you have to find it. There's all sorts of variations that you can come up with on your own for your kids, whatever age they are. So we play every week and it's fantastic. So are you guys ready to do some more practice? Yeah. yeah. Let's go. 